The Typhoon class, known as Project 941 Akula in Soviet terms, was a groundbreaking class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines created by the Soviet Union for its navy. With a submerged displacement of 48,000 tonnes, these were the largest submarines ever constructed, offering spacious and comfortable living quarters for a crew of 160, even during extended missions lasting several months. The origin of the NATO reporting name Typhoon remains a bit of a mystery, but it's widely believed to stem from a 1974 speech by General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev, who used the term Typhoon to describe this formidable new class of nuclear submarines in response to the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class submarines. In March 2012, the Russian Navy decided to cancel its Typhoon-class modernization program, citing that upgrading a single Typhoon would cost as much as building two new Bore-class submarines. Three Typhoon submarines were decommissioned in the 1990s and scrapped in the 2000s, while two others were decommissioned in the 2000s and are now inactive. After Russia dismantled the last R-39 RIF SSN-20 Sturgeon SLBMs in September 2012, only one Typhoon, the Dmitry Donskoy, remained in service. It was refitted with the newer RSM-56 Bulava SLBM for testing and continued to serve until its decommissioning in February 2023. Russian nuclear submarines, including the formidable Typhoon class, are marked with a K and a number, where K stands for cruiser. The immense size of Typhoon-class submarines earned them the designation of heavy cruisers. These subs were equipped with six torpedo tubes and 20 R-39 ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads. Designed for endurance, Typhoons could stay submerged for 120 days and even launch their missiles while docked. Their innovative design included multiple pressure hulls, enhancing their ability to withstand damage and ensuring crew safety. Submerged, they could reach speeds of 28 knots 52 kmh. The Typhoon class, known as Project 941 Akula, was designed to rival the Ohio-class submarines of the United States. Despite sharing the Akula name with another class of Russian submarines, the Typhoon's primary goal was to match the SLBM capabilities of its American counterparts, but with a greater range. This required larger, heavier missiles, like the R-39 Rif, the heaviest SLBM ever in service. Proposals in the 1990s even considered converting some typhoons into cargo submarines for transporting oil and gas under polar ice. Six typhoon-class submarines were built between 1976 and 1985, with four receiving names after the Soviet Union's dissolution, while another was cancelled before completion. In 2013, the Russian state-run news agency RIA Novosti reported that the Navy planned to scrap two of its remaining typhoon-class submarines. TK-17 Archangelsk and TK-20 Severstal, starting in 2018. However, as of 2017, the decision to proceed with scrapping these submarines was still uncertain. On July 20, 2022, it was announced that the Typhoon-class submarine Dmitry Donskoy had been withdrawn from the Russian Navy earlier than initially expected. Although it was previously stated that the submarine would remain in service until 2026 as a weapons test platform, sources in 2022 indicated that this timeline was no longer part of the Russian Navy's plan. Dmitry Donskoy was officially decommissioned on February 6, 2023. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you can stay updated with future content. I appreciate your time and look forward to sharing more with you soon. Take care.